most people think calculus began with Newton. One man, one apple, one sun flash of genius. But hidden in a museum drawer sits a clay tablet that blows that story apart. Because 1,400 years before Newton was even born, someone else had already figured it out. This is ancient Babylon. Mud brick cities. Astronomer priests watching the sky. People who didn't even use the number zero the way we do. And yet, they left behind something almost impossible. Math so advanced it shouldn't exist for another millennium. And the wildest part, they carved it into wet clay. The tablet is known today as BM40054. So it's one of several that stunt historians. Now, at first glance, it's just a row of cuneiform wedges. It's nothing special. But when researchers translated it, they realized the Babylonians were tracking the motion of Jupiter using a technique that looked exactly like integral calculus. So, yeah, um, calculus in the second century BCE. To predict where Jupiter would appear in the sky, they didn't follow the planet day by day. They calculated the area under the curve, treating Jupiter's speed over time like a geometric shape, and they used that to leap forward in time. This is the same fundamental idea behind modern physics, engineering, and orbital mechanics. And they were doing it with clay and a reed stylus. When a modern mathematician examined the tablet, he literally told reporters, this changes everything. Because it meant calculus wasn't a single flash of insight. It wasn't the product of one genus in a garden. It was an idea humans reached for long, long before we were ready to appreciate it. But the Babylonians cracked the door open first.